team at Auburn one time that was sort of the 82 team. I've said this to, to uh, Oval two or three times. A lot of similarities. By the way, probably my most special team for that reason. They may be getting bumped this year, though. We'll see. Talk about I like Coach mentioned uh, they're real athletic. I think they have um, 17 or so Division One transfers. I mean, it's going to be a big test for us. They'll probably be the most athletic team we've played thus far, um, minus Ole Miss. And it's a mindset. You know, we can't we can't worry about what they're doing. We get as long, we know as long as we do what we're supposed to do, that um, we should be all right. And, Coach tells us all the time that we have a mental edge, which is true. We need stats and stuff. We're not a stat team, but as long as we get our mind focused on one thing, we usually we usually do it. Whether it's a big stop or a big big play at the end of the game, that's our big that's our big edge on people. What did it feel like to score your first touchdown? You know there were two guys happier than you were. Yeah, <laughs> probably <laughs> Justin and Corey. That's it. <laughs> Why do you figure they were so happy? Justin, he just, before the play, he just looked at me and he knew I was about to score because he just knew the formation. And Corey, he was like the first one to run over there. <laughs> he was happy that he, I scored before him. <laughs> Denzel's got class, so we'll need to, whatever we need to get with him, he's got to, he's got to head out about 12th class, so we'll be Do those guys help you a whole lot? Oh, yeah. Like, that's basically my leadership as a tight end. I mean, when I transferred over there, I mean, I thought it was going to be like a rough trans um, transaction, but, I mean, it was pretty smooth. They just took me in and just started showing me all the little things, and it just – Really made me the player I am right now. You had never had any experience on the offensive side of the ball until they moved you over to tight end. Was it this summer or the spring? Is that right? Or it was on um, last last summer. Last, last summer. But I mean, up to that point, you had always, no matter wherever you played, for the most part, you had always been a defensive guy, right? Yes, sir. So what was that experience like? It was just. Uh, it was kind of weird, like, because I'm so used to trying to get past people. And I just had to train my mind to stay in front of people and keep my hands on people most of the time. And I just learned how to, had to learn how to run my routes right and, you know, keep my body bent in certain positions just so I can make the correct blocks and remember most of the plays. When they came to you and said, you know, we want you being a 6'7 tight end, did you say, why are we doing this? Or what, you know, what was your initial reaction to just having the move being made? Uh, I knew that um, we had lost a couple good tight ends, so I just thought about that and just basically what I could do for the team. And it was a good opportunity, opportunity for me to move to full scholarship because I came here on a partial and Coach said if I did good at that position that he was going to move me to full scholarship. So I just Robbery. <laughs> <laughs> I try to work hard at Money that. talks. <laughs> Is, uh, the, talk about the experience of scoring the touchdown. I think it was the first ball you'd ever caught in college. It turned into being a touchdown. That's kind of a rarity in itself, too, like the you know big leader getting up the first time up, hitting a home run, you know, that kind of thing. But what was the whole – experience like for the first touchdown catch when they feel it to you, the nerves about wanting to make sure you didn't drop it and all that. Just go through that whole thing for me. <laughs> well, yeah. when I saw the ball in there, I just I just had to make sure that I caught it and I just tried to look it in and when I caught it, I rolled it over and I remember coach telling me when you catch the ball in the end zone and you fall, you got to get up and show them you got the ball so the ref has no doubt that you caught it. <laughs> so I just got up and Put the ball in the air, and I seen Calvin and other players coming to congratulate me and everything. 
and the real is kind of like a blur because I don't remember like anything after that. <laughs> And, and the experience of your first college catch being a touchdown, how unique and, and neat do you take that? Uh, that was just great. Like I caught a ball before, but it was like on a busted play uh, last year. It was a field goal. I believe they caught fire, and I had caught a little flat rock. But that was a pretty great feeling, being my, my first catch being a touchdown. So, I mean, it wasn't your first ever catch. Yeah, it was my first catch on offense. Uh -huh. Well, you just happened to be on the field goal flyer, you just happened to be the guy that was wide open that they saw and they threw it to? Yes, sir. Uh -huh. You got the ball, and they give you the ball, and it went, you know, the, the touchdown ball. Did I mean, you have it? Oh, no, sir. <laughs> you want it? You have it? You want it? <laughs> I think Denzel can become a feature player. I mean, he's six, seven, and fast. Those two things don't usually go together. Catching was the thing he'd never done much of, but he's he's gotten better and better at it. Six, seven guys always open equations. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, that it, when in high school did they ever try to put you over there? Make you a receiver or anything like that? Mostly for blocking because I was kind of physical. Like, although being thin, I was still kind of physical. So when we need like a couple yards on goal line, they'll put me at like a tight end spot. And what's the what's the reach? If you're six seven tall, what's the reach give you for a target? Do they, do they do that measurement here too? No, sir. Stick your hands above Stick your hands up. They hard to overthrow this boy. <laughs> and, he can, and he can jump. So when, are you on the field goal block team or any of that too? See? Yes, sir. <clears throat> Did you play basketball in I played my last year. The coach always tried to bribe me to play, but I didn't really want to play. He didn't have a scholarship to get <laughs> I, I had a scholarship for basketball my last year. Like, the only year I played, though. It's kind of nice. So, Quest, now you got another option here. How do you get the ball to all these guys? Keep them happy. Just tell him to hold on a little bit. I'm going to come back to you. Uh, um, <coughs> Alan Bonner. Has Alan had a kid since old man? I don't think Alan's had a kid since Oh, he's come to see me about that. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> I know. And uh, I talked to him. I, I went and talked to Coach Lesson about the about Johnny play. Because we have, it's the same formation, but we call it something different. So it switches the personnel around. And they came to me after, I think, Chattanooga when he had like eight catches that game. It was like, man, you got to tell them to switch. To switch. <laughs> so, <laughs> I got to the same stuff. <laughs> uh, um, we started running the other formation a little bit more, but we still mostly run the one where John is at the point of, uh, to the boundary. But I, I think I uh, coded through out in the past this game, and he tripped. So, there you go. Missed this opportunity. Yeah. <laughs> but, I don't know. Just try to just get it to them. I mean, they we're, they're they're better. But I mean, they're not really complaining as causing a problem, but they know that it's gonna come back to them eventually. I mean, everybody's getting like Cam had a big game, John had a few big games, Allen had a big game the first game, so and Shaw did too. So all of them know that it's, it's coming around to them. Ray's coming back. And Ray's coming back next week or this week. Cody threw the touchdown pass to, uh, uh, to Denzel, I think. On the, mm -hmm. and, but have you had a target that big to throw to at any time before? Mm -hmm. Not that tall. You adjust your throw when you got a guy that big in the game? You just, just, get throw it up in the air. just don't throw it too low because we won't get down at the game. <laughs> <laughs> Coach, I got a question about Tennessee State. The way the OVC schedule set up, we've only.